All right, 49er fans, if you're here at this video, you're likely wondering the same exact thing as most 49er fans. Who is this young man, Ricky Parshall, that the 49ers just drafted? Well, he is a catching machine. The young man, his uh, combine stats were 40-yard dash, ran a 4.41. His vert was 42 inches, broad jump 9 inches, and bench pressed 225 pounds 17 times. So the guy is a big, strong a uh, good hands young man. I think what the 49ers were looking for with this young man is a guy who can catch over the middle of the field. Obviously, with Debo Samuels doing a majority of that, he takes a lot of punishment. The Niners use Debo in the backfield as well. They can send out Parshall, and then he can go out and just get everything done over the middle. A sure hand guy. The guy only dropped three passes last year at Florida. So you're looking at a guy with sure hands that's going to come in there and probably be able to contribute in year one to be able to take off the load of Adebo Samuels and Brandon Ayuk. And this does not, hey, displays the question on does the 49ers go a different route on if they're going to decide to get rid of Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel? I mean, this young man can come in and maybe fill that void. So the Niners still have a lot of options. But right now, I think they got a sure-handed guy, a guy that's going to go over the middle of the field. He had excellent, excellent combine numbers and was one of the most uh, highly ranked uh, receivers in all of Arizona as a high school uh, uh a high school uh, a high school athlete so what do you guys think as far as his ability to uh get separation i'm not thinking that he's going to be that guy that's going to go out there and stretch the field but hey do i think that this is the guy that has sure hands that runs great routes i mean his fucking routes are crispy guys crispy routes um if you go look at some of his film online the guy runs smooth routes gets in and out of his breaks immediately um creates separation easily i mean people cannot sit him in the box and just press him one-on-one -on -one. he has an excellent release can get off the ball quickly and i think this is just adds another weapon for the 49ers now is it my opinion that the 49ers maybe should have went a different route as far as a selection at this pick um I think you can get possession receivers um, in and out of the draft any time, uh, any round, and they decided to go early on this guy. I would want the 49ers to go out and get an uh, OT, uh, uh, offensive tackle. I would have loved for them to go ahead and take care of that. We need, um, we're a predominantly run team. Why not get Christian McCaffrey some help and help him bulldoze guys out the way and also protect your prize and Brock Purdy. You know, we're investing a lot in Brock Purdy and in Christian McCaffrey. Why not make sure that those guys are protected? You got Trent Williams on the left side, who's obviously aging, and our right side needed help anyway. So I thought that the 49ers probably should have went that route. But, hey, you know, in John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan, we trust with offensive weapons. This guy definitely looks like a guy who has a lot of respect as far as his speed, his athleticism, his cutting ability, and his ability to get in and out of his breaks. Um, and I think the main thing that they probably seen with him is his sure hands ability. Uh, he has sure hands. He does not drop the ball at all. The guy comes and brings it every day. And if you look at the 49ers press conference, John, uh, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan both express the fact that this young man doesn't drop the ball, and he's a guy that once he gets hit, he get, he's going to get right back up. He's not one of these guys that, you know, gets hit and they're looking for a way. As soon as they get, you know, get the rock, they're ready to go down to the ground and shit. Nah, this guy is looking for the smoke. He's looking for the contact. He's not avoiding anything. When he goes to the sideline, he's ready to get back in. He's not trying to take an easy way out. And I think that's the 49ers staff kind of sending the 49ers receivers a message. You know, some of these receivers we get in here are maybe a little too soft, and that's kind of why they got rid of Dante Pettis. They didn't see that dog in him, you know, that alpha in him. And that's kind of something want, uh, Kyle Shanahan wants out of his receivers, man. He demands a lot out of his receivers. So I know for a fact that if he goes out and gets a guy like this, this has to be a Kyle, Sh Kyle Shanahan pick. There's no doubt about it, you know. So we'll see how he turns out. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. But for sure, man, I think that this guy is going to be a stud either way. It may not be the pick that everybody wanted, but there's no way that he's not going to help contribute uh, on our team. So, the, you know, I think the 49ers are looking at those other teams like the Rams, seeing people like Puka Nakua, and they want a sure-handed, guaranteed catch guy. And I think that's what they got with this young man.